Uh, Peabody also goes to Boston Legal. Once again, David E. Kelly uses courtrooms and those who show up there to challenge and probably delight various audiences. Zeke Bournes never had a chance. He was rounded up as a teenager, thrown in a cell while he was still doped up on drugs, browbeaten and interrogated until his IQ of 80 was overcome. He confessed to a crime he had no memory of, still has no memory of for which there is no evidence other than two witnesses who saw him pumping gas around the time of the murder. He was given a coked up lawyer who admittedly did nothing. I'm now before nine presumably intelligent people in the justice business who have the benefit of knowing all of this. Add to that, you know DNA places somebody else at the scene and you're indifferent. You don't care whether you believe in my client's innocence. And I'll assume, with all due respect, may it please the court, that you don't. You cannot be sure of his guilt. You simply cannot. And failing that, how can you kill him? How can you kill him? And I would sincerely, sincerely, sincerely hope that you don't penalize my client simply because his lawyers happen to be from Massachusetts the home of the New England Patriots, who could kick ass over any football team you've got in the good state of Texas. May it please the court. Candace Bergen accepts the Peabody. We're very proud to be a part of Boston Legal. James Spader, uh, when he was talking to the crew a few months ago to thank everyone for their contributions to Boston Legal, said that when people came up to him to congratulate him on the show, what they all had in common was a standard of excellence. In an era of ratings where excellence is too rarely rewarded or recognized, um, we're very, very grateful to the Peabody's for existing and for recognizing Boston Legal. Uh, for setting a standard of excellence, and I wanted to introduce Janet Leahy and Bill D'Elia. Janet is our executive producer and a staff of crack writers, and Bill is our executive producer, director. Um, thank you all very much for this tremendous honor. <laughs>